From my earliest recollection, Hurstville area, Lovettsville area, where the bread basket of Loudoun County. On Saturdays, that was when everyone came to town in Leesburg and in Percival to get their groceries, go to the movies. They started to develop personal relationships, business relationships, and it took a while for them to become recognized as a, a voice for business. And that's what the chamber is, a voice for business, and hopefully a voice for betterment of the county. When I started teaching in 1967 or 68, Loudoun County was the leading dairy producer in the state of Virginia and the leading corn producer in the state of Virginia, and yet we were still just 30 miles from the White House. You could see that Dulles Airport was going to change, maybe not the character, but the future of Loudoun County in ways that couldn't have been imagined just 20, 25 years before. Dulles Airport has to be the defining moment in the modern history of Loudoun County. We saw the population you know, growing and with it bringing lots of different people from lots of parts of the, of the country and the world. I remember going to my very first mixer. When I got there, I found out one of the reasons they had invited me to this mixer was to see if I'd be interested in joining the board. And I remember that I immediately said yes. Chamber's been a wonderful association or organization promoting our community and our local government and our businesses within the community ever since then. And it's been fun to be a part of that. We started out with state support in the Farm Winery Act of 1980. The Loudoun Chamber of Commerce recognized, I think, early the tremendous interrelationship between tourism and the wineries. And the state data shows, I believe, that of visitors to the state of Virginia from out of state, over 30% visit a winery tasting room. So the draw of the, of the wine industry and the reason for building it for building tourism was really clear. And, um, and then the county jumped on that and made tremendous uh, headway by working together with the young wine industry. So I can tell you right now, networking is what grew my business. It, it's allowed me to see other people's points of view. And you meet people from the east, you meet people from the west, it was not me staying in my office behind my desk. It was me networking, getting out in the community. That is where I met the people that could help me grow my business. Networking isn't just about getting clients. It's about staying on top of trends. It's about finding new employees. It's about getting better vendors and just opening your eyes to everything that's out there that, that can help you grow as a person. The opportunity to work with, to work around, uh, to get feedback from, to benchmark with other business leaders has been invaluable. It's been invaluable to my personal development um, and also to my professional development. From a corporate perspective, I look at our involvement in the Chamber as benefiting us in a whole spectrum of ways. But it also intersects with every aspect of the community, whether it's the public policy piece at the state and the local level, whether it's the nonprofit piece, the Chamber has a wonderful initiative for nonprofits. What makes for a strong community? Positive, strong education, public safety, good transportation, positive health care, healthy community. Um, and one that's full of culture and vibrancy in life. But what I love about Loudoun is that we understand the importance of progress and preservation. We have to have that kind of thinking in the West as well as in the East, and I think we do a good job of it. Um, and I find the Chamber a huge part of helping us retain that identity.